I'm going to tell you everything you need to know before buying the Apoor Caltuel, and we're starting right now. Systems activating. Systems on. Special thanks to all the support from patrons and channel members. It takes a while to make one of these, and your support is appreciated. Welcome to a Star Citizen's Buyer's Guide. This is Subliminal here, and today we'll be discussing the features, functions, and benefits of the Apoor Caltuel. In this review, we'll cover a brief overview, take a tour, compare stats with similar ships, review pros and cons, and give you my thoughts on the Apollo Cartuel. If you haven't seen it already after this review, check out my loadout guide for the Apollo Cartuel in the info card above and on the end screen. I'm live right now. Head over to Twitch to hang out and give me your thoughts on how I pronounce Cartuel. Enough with the formalities, let's get to it. The Cartuel is a Jean light spacecraft adapted for humans by Apollo. Its base model, the Quel Caltu, was originally developed by Jean Empire as a scout and interceptor for the military. El Poa extensively modified the control surfaces and components of the base model for the human market, owing to the fact that it was one of the first Jean-designed ships sold within the United Empire of Earth. It is often referred to as a Jean Scout. El Poa is a Jean house and spacecraft manufacturer. They hold a monopoly granted by the Jean government to exclusively manufacture light crafts such as the Cartuel and the Santaquiai, one of a growing number of Jean corporations that market their products to humans. El Poa has sponsored multiple marketing events highlighting the exchange between human and Jean cultures. In 1910, they partnered with the Musashi Industrial and Starflight Concern to market their products to humans. Their logo incorporates the crest of Imperial House Cree. As of today, the Cartuel is available for sale and upgrade on the Pledge Store for $170 for a very limited time. It is available as a Yoner for Santak Yai owners, and the Cartuel is available for purchase in-game for over 2.1 million Alpha UEC. Now that you know a little bit more about the Apoa Cartuel, let's take a tour. If you'd like to skip this tour, the timestamp is on screen and in the description. As you can see, the Cartuel is very unique in its design. On the tip of the nose, you can see a warm, bright light. Throughout the underside of the ship, you can see green accent lighting. I quite like this. Up here, inside the dome, is the cockpit. Up and to the right, we have the size 4 weapon hardpoint stock equipped with a gimbaled size 3 laser repeater. Here is one of four articulating main thrusters that allow the Cartuel to be so nimble. And this is the second one on the port side. Let's step back and look at the tail. I really like the gold trim here. It works well with the warm tail light. This design would make for a great carbon fiber combat knife. From this angle, you can kind of see it looks like a flower. The starboard side is identical to the port side. Let's head inside. Watch this, look at the floating steps. Inside, we can see the building blocks UI is implemented and colored to match the UI of the Cartuel. We also have a holographic radar and three MFDs, although the last one isn't very visible. The Cartuel does not have an ejection feature. Now that we've taken a tour, let's see how it compares to other ships you might be considering. For comparison, I've selected 10 ships, some light fighters and some alien light and medium fighters. The Google Sheet document with the data is linked in the description. The Apoa Cartuel weighs in at over 67,000 kilograms and takes 7th place. It fits in at 31.5 meters in length and takes 9th place. It totes 0 SCU of cargo as well as every other ship on this list except for the 325A. It has a max crew size of one, as well as every other ship except the Banu Defender. It carries 583 quantum fuel units, again, like every other ship except for the Banu Defender. It cruises by with an SCEM speed of 224 meters per second and takes third place, just one meter per second shy from first. It blazes by with a max speed of 1323 and takes first place. It has a maximum pitch rate of 70 degrees per second and takes fourth place. 
It has a maximum yaw rate of 70 degrees as well and takes third place. It has a maximum roll rate of 270 degrees per second and takes second place. It has a total hull HP of almost 11,000. It takes first place here, but this should be taken with a grain of salt. This metric totals up the HP of every piece of the hull, and since the car to all has so much surface area, it scores high. It has a physical armor damage reduction of 0% and ties in last place. It has an energy armor reduction of 0% as well and ties in last place again. It has an EM, IR, and cross-section reduction of 10% and takes second only to the Sabre. It shoots peas with a default pilot DPS of just 880. It takes last place, but you should check out my loadout guide to remedy this. The Cartuel nor any other ships on this list have turrets. The Cartuel does not have missiles. And lastly, the Apoa Cartuel is available for sale in-game for over 2.1 million alpha UEC and takes the 6th spot. I'm excited to announce a new art series, Vessels of the Verse. This will be the first of many designs that will be released alongside buyer's guides and loadout guides. They will be available on displayed in 48 hours, on the merch store in 24 hours, desktop wallpapers are available right now to Twitch subs, patrons, and YouTube channel members, and mobile wallpapers are available for free via link in the description. All right, let's weigh some of the pros and cons. I would say its pros are, as far as metrics are concerned, it's very fast in regards to SCM and max speed. It's nimble in regards to pitch, yaw, and roll. Its damage potential at range is great with size 4 hardpoints. It can hit targets up to 4,000 meters away. Now for some things that we can't see on paper. Its stealth capabilities are great. I recorded an IR between 4,300 and 5,000 while maneuvering and firing as long as you don't use afterburner and you need to be using my stealth build. Its acceleration is great, so much so that you don't need to use afterburner, but when you do, it's even faster. I also felt like it could space break almost to a complete stop without overheating. For cons, I'd say it doesn't have any missiles, but I'm actually okay with this, but I think it should be mentioned. Its view from the cockpit is pretty bad. It's hard to see around those dome struts. Its surface area is terrible. It seems like the designers got together and said, how can we make this ship catch every single bullet thrown its way? Well, let's make it look like an open hand. And I don't normally add this to the pros and cons because value is relative, but the Cartuel certainly has its alien tax applied. So what are my thoughts? Well, the Cartuel absolutely dominates the board when it comes to every speed metric. Its stealth capabilities should keep you up at night. I was able to create a stealth build that if used properly would allow you to attack outside of the Caratual's detection range. This is great for taking PvE bounties if done correctly. This f dope looking, have you seen this thing change flight modes? With all that being said, its cons are pretty beefy. Its cockpit view isn't great, its cool design makes it an easy target from almost all angles, and for $170 US, I can get a couple of great light fighters. And it really pains me to say this because I really like this ship, so I'll just have to buy it in game. Those are my thoughts, let me hear yours down in the comments. If you haven't already, make sure to check out my loadout guide for the Kalatoel here. Don't forget I'm live on Twitch right now, like right now, come and hang out. If you enjoy my channel, there are five ways to support it. Number one, you can smash that like button. Number two, you can share this content with someone who may enjoy it. Number three, you can check out my locations of Stanton collection over at Displayed and in the merch store. Number four, you can subscribe and turn on notifications by clicking the circle here. And number five, if you're feeling generous, consider becoming a channel member or even better, a patron. Some pledge perks can be seen here, including desktop versions of my locations of Stanton Collection available to all patrons and members. If not, just sticking around to the end is greatly appreciated. Until next time, citizens, I'll see you in the verse.